gods, what am I going to do? It's another bill. How can I possibly afford this? Isun, you've got to help me. Quick, how much are your wines worth on the internet? Or at the very least, your cute looks. This has been a dramatization, but this could happen to you if you don't budget. My mother was a bookkeeper before she went on disability and retired. I remember growing up that I would go to work with her because we didn't have babysitters or anything like that. We couldn't afford such things. And watch her keep track of books for various companies that she was working for. And to be honest, keeping track of the books for various companies is just basically a more complicated method of keeping track of budgets. And I kind of learned by watching her, so it's really difficult for me to describe how I budget. But I'm going to give it a shot. First thing you're going to need is some mechanism of handling your budget. Whether that be a sheet of paper, although if you're going to use an analog method, I recommend using an accounting book or a ledger book. It's, you can find them at general office supply stores. They're not very expensive. You can even make your own if you really want to. Alternately, if you want to use a computer, which I would recommend personally, I don't like using analog methods of keeping track of money, spreadsheets. Um, spreadsheet software is frequently free. You can download OpenOffice for free, for instance, and it doesn't particularly matter what spreadsheet software you use, they all have the same basic features, and the basic features are all that you need when it comes to budgeting. Grouping for rainy day funds. Uh, rainy day funds are the things like my emergency fund. I make sure that my emergency fund is funded to at least three months of my income. If I feel a little antsy, I may increase it to four or five months, but three months is generally what I recommend for people if at all possible. I include my electronics budget in my rainy day funds. That's the reason why I can afford things like buying a camera, a cell phone, and a laptop within a month. It's not because I'm spending money willy-nilly, I'm actually budgeting for these things ahead of time and making sure that I have enough spare funds and putting it into my electronics budget to be able to buy these things. I include my home maintenance budget into there. The idea being that I have absolutely no idea when I'm going to need to go spend money on my house, but I'm going to throw money in there anyway, that way I know I have it. If I go above that, it starts hitting my emergency funds, but I'd rather not do that, so I allocate money specifically for home maintenance. Necessary for my life. I could spend zero dollars on it, and I'm not going to receive a late fee, I'm not going to receive any form of penalties, I'm not delaying something that's absolutely needed or anything like that, but at the same time, I don't want to spend zero. I want to spend money on recreation. It's good for my sanity and morale, which is very important for budgeting, by the way. If you can all help it, you should budget things for entertainment going out to eat. You want to do things that are positive to you. You need to control your expenses so you know how much money you have to be able to do these things. So after I group everything out, what I do from here is that I start allocating my income toward those groups. I usually look at the previous three months to be able to figure out, okay, how much do I normally spend? Uh, another idea is to don't actually look at the previous three months, just allocate the groups, but don't allocate money to them yet and then just keep track of a full month and see how much money you actually spend and adjust things based off of that. If you have any extra money that you don't know what to do with, throw it in one of your rainy day funds or just spend it if you really want to or throw it at some of your debt. That way you can reduce some of that load later on. So let's show you what I mean in a nice demonstration, shall we? So this is YNAB. Um, this is an example budget. This is obviously not my real budget. I do not, in fact, get paid in Polish Zwalti. YNAB is very useful for a lot of things for me. Uh, it's, it tends to conform toward my personal budgetary methodology of assigning categories and assigning all of your income to various categories. In this case, they're actually assigned to individual subcategories rather than the major groups that I would normally do, but it's close enough to what I want. This works just as well when it comes to a spreadsheet. You could, in fact, do this just as easily with a spreadsheet. There's nothing stopping you. It just takes a little bit more work ahead of time and then, you know, like, call this budget or general budget. Call this ah, mortgage details and make sure that the mortgage stuff is also in both locations and things along that nature. It's not that complicated. It's just, it takes a lot of setup to make this look pretty and easily glanceable. Whereas with YNAB, it, somebody already did all the work for me. Totally worth five bucks for me. Anyway, um, as mentioned, you want to be able to allocate all of your money to various things. So for instance, I have allocated a fairly large amount of money to my electronics funds, which I have spent all of 
yeah, don't look at me like that. Um, I've allocated money to various everyday expenses. I would not recommend actually having video games as a everyday expense. I have giving, I have my monthly bills, I have debt, I have rainy day funds, various different things, and you want to make sure that everything is allocated. You may not be exact when it comes to things, like for instance, I here had a payment to Florina's House of Repair because Zone ate my door for fun, 400 Zwalti, whereas I had only budgeted 200 Zwalti this month. Um, however, what I might have done would have been the previous month, I might have had another 200 Zwalti sitting there. And overall, I just spent all of the money that was in my rainy day fund for home maintenance. After you've recorded everything in your budgeting software of choice or on piece of paper or what have you, after about a month of this is when you should start looking at things going, you know, I'm kind of spending 30 Zwalti a day on coffee for some reason. I don't need that. I can just brew my own at home for cheaper and get better stuff. Or you can go, hmm, I'm not really spending all that much on groceries and I'm spending a lot on restaurants. I should probably tweak that and not go out to eat as often or not order in food as often, but instead, you know, cook more often at home. Or maybe even it's the other way around. It's, I have some spare money and I don't really like cooking, so I'm going to go out to eat more often. I'll just make sure I watch my calories and things like that. I'm not in that category. I actually prefer to cook. Budgeting isn't about saving money. In fact, sometimes it's quite the opposite. You want to budget things in order to spend more money in order to better enrich your life. Sometimes spending a little bit of money helps. I mean, money isn't everything. It's definitely far from. It's just, well, if you have money and you can do something that makes a difference to either yourself or others, and it doesn't hurt you and you can afford it and things along that nature, why not? So you notice I haven't really said anything about saving money. I've only been talking about keeping track of money. You see, this is something I've discovered and a lot of other people have talked that I've I've also talked to a lot of other people that agree is that keeping track of money is actually the hard part. Saving money is not that difficult if you know where all of your money is going. So what you want to do is always know how much money you're spending on something, how much money you have spent on something, how much money you will expect to spend on something, and just know it generally in the back of your head somewhere. The idea being that you can go, well, I can afford to treat myself to this really nice dinner once and not do that repeatedly every week forever. That, that would be terrible. Why would you do that? At the same time, you can go, well, you know, I can spend an extra 20 hours of work to be able to tweak this where I make 100 more Zwalti. That's not really worth it. That's below minimum wage. Why would you do that? Alternately, it's, you know what, I can really use some extra money because I want to save up for retirement. I want to be able to retire at the age of 45 rather than 65. So what I'm going to need to do is start up a rainy day fund for retirement or a savings goal. Um, I've seen that term thrown around also. I just use rainy day funds for everything. Um, I want to have a savings goal to be able to retire at 45. So now I know how much money I'm spending. Now I can adjust and tweak my budgets in order to be able to assign more money toward that goal. And that's generally what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to make your money work for you. You're not supposed to work for your money. As long as you're not in a situation where you are struggling to be able to make ends meet, you should be able to do this. And yes, I know that if you're struggling to make ends meet, this is extremely difficult. I'm not going to say that you'll be able to spend whatever you want by budgeting properly or anything like that. That would be horribly naive. I've been there. It sucks. What I'm saying is that it's a good first start. You can figure out what you can and can't afford. You can prioritize things, you know, figure out, well, I'm spending, you know, a thousand Zwalti a month going out to eat, but I'm only spending 200 Zwalti a month on video games. I'd rather spend more money on video games than going out to eat. Why don't I tweak this around where I spend less on going out to eat, more on video games, and maybe even have a little bit of money to spare and throw that into my savings. My cats are fully in crazy cat hour mode, so I need to feed them and go to bed. Good night, Internet. I will see you tomorrow, where I review my vlogs. Dun, dun, dun.